Hey, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to show you how to build up a simple and fully ready to go storage system that could hold up to 924 different items, and that's because it could hold multiple items per chest, and it also has three input chests and sorts into both shulker boxes and chests, and it even has a section for bulk items. And welcome to the item sorter world. We're going to start off by just looking at the sorter for a little bit to explain how it works and to show what it looks like, and after that we'll get straight to building it. And so first of all, here's a quick look at the redstone. The main system, there's really not too much here, it's only a 2x2 two two little space. And then for our bulk storage, it gets a little bit bigger. And how you use it is you just throw the items you want to sort into these chests, and they'll begin going around the loop, and while they're going around, they're trying to stack with anything that are in these shulker boxes or chest. And so since this one's filled with orange dye, the only other thing that gets stacked in here is just orange dye. We could add in something like gravel, and now with the gravel and orange dye gets stacked in here. But each of these can be filled with all kinds of different items, and we'll go around and try to stack it on top of any of those. And if it's unable to stack on any of these, it goes to our bulk storage next, where we have all these chests just for one item, and it has a filter that will grab out those items and fill in the chest. And if it's not able to go into those either, it just ends up here, so if you throw in any non-stackable items, or just anything that can't be sorted in the system, it just ends up here so you can deal with it. And now we can start building this thing up. And for materials, that's 2 stacks and 55 of whatever block you want to use to build it, as well as 60 stairs to match. Then some other things to point out is those are droppers and not dispensers, and those shulker boxes could be whatever color you like. And one final thing is if you're building this on Bedrock Edition, which I'm pretty sure it should work, you just need to change out that note block for a 45th dropper. And so when I'm building, just place down that dropper instead, and you could also do that for Java Edition if you like. And if you want these item frames too, it'll take 24 to do the shulker boxes, all these chests, and the 6 up here. So once we're done, this is what the finished machine will look like, but if we do a little bit of magic, this is the space we have to build on. And now we can get to building. I'm going to start off with the framework of everything using the quartz blocks, and I'm going to be using a block of quartz instead of smooth quartz, just so it's a bit easier to count all the blocks. So just for a reference point, I'm going to be placing in these 6 blocks first, and they just go like this. And from there we go over with 3 stairs, then we go up 3, and then we also add in another 3 stairs up on top. And then we could place in another set of 3 blocks, and now we're going to do a pattern of a stair, then a block, then a stair, then a block. And we're going to do the same thing up on top, so the same stair and block pattern. And then in between these blocks, we're going to add in another block. And now we're going to keep on extending that using another 9 quartz, just so we get to this corner. And next we're going to do a turn, and we're going to build out another 17 blocks. And our final section like this is just another 9 blocks out this way. And at the end of this, we're going to build up a 6 block tall column. So that's 6 additional blocks. And we're also going to build up 2 2 block tall columns in each of these corners. And now take your stairs and place them facing down in this spot, and just drag that all the way around the whole build. So it should end up looking like this. And we're going to finish up our final area, start off by going up here, and placing down a stair facing downwards, and a second one like that, and then we're going to extend that over 5 additional blocks. So it should be a total of 12 stairs. And then next to that, we're going to skip one block and build up another column, so it's the same height as all this other stuff. And now we just need to fill in this area, and you could customize this, but I just like to do a stair facing downwards, and then one upwards, another one upwards, then an air gap, then a stair facing downwards, another air gap, and one facing upwards. And that is the main framework all done. The next step that we're going to do is add in our chest and shulker boxes and everything else like that. So we're going to start off with the easier things, which is the redstone lamp, which goes in this space, and our two shulker boxes. So for these, you need to place down some temporary blocks, and you can do that just by doing this. So we'll just get rid of those in a second. And then we're going to place our shulker box off of those, and the reason why we need those ones is so that way we could open it. But once we place those down, we could go back here and get rid of them. So we're going to start by placing our first chest at the starting system. So just go to an angle like this and place in your three chest. So we can then go to the back and extend all those to large chest, and you should have those two chests connected like this. And by the way, you place those chests on them like that by holding down shift. And to get some more chest in, we're going to go into this space and just keep building up these large chests. So we should have a total of 4 there, and I'm just going to extend that around all these spaces. And the spacing should work where you get 4 large chests, and then 8 large chests, and another 4 large chests. And to place on our final chest before the bulk items chest, we're just going to go right here to angle, and we're going to place that one in, and so we should get a large chest. 
And for this section, just place in chests like this, going and filling in this entire space. And once you get all those in, and they should all be at an angle like this, you just want to go to the back and hold shift and extend all of them to large chest. And the front should look like this, where everything is all flush. And with all that done, it's time to start working on our redstone. So I'm just going to go to the back, and I want to place a dropper facing in this direction, right at an angle from our chest like this. And this dropper is pointing into another one that's facing upwards. Then there's one on top of that, pointing in the same direction as that one. And now going over another block, we're going to place another one facing upwards, and we're going to have a hopper pointing into that. And so it's important that you're placing the hopper off of here, so it's pointing into that dropper. And the next hopper we're going to place on the shulker box, so it's pointing into that. And we just have three more hoppers for our starting system, which all feed into this dropper. And now we can build up the blocks the redstone's going to go on. So we're going to place one block next to this bottom dropper, then one next to the top hopper. Then we're going to extend out two, and another one to the side like this. Then go over just a little bit and build up an L like this. And on the end of this side of the L, just place up another block. And the redstone that fits into this looks just like this. We're going to run a comparator out of this dropper, so it's important that it's facing with the one dot into this block. And that block is going to be powering a repeater, which we're going to click on three additional times, so it's at this much delay. And this repeater will be powering a redstone dust, which then powers this repeater, which we're going to click on two additional times, so it's at that much delay. And now we created a clock that activates when we have anything in this dropper. And that clock will be powering this note block, which gets detected by the observer, and powers two redstone dust, which then power a repeater, which we're going to click on one additional time. That repeater will power a torch, which then powers redstone dust. And now under here, we're going to place in another repeater with no additional delay, and another repeater here going in that direction. And I said all that super quick, so here's just a view of where everything should go again. And now we're going to start work on the rest of our system, and the general rule for this is you always want to have a dropper facing upwards on this side of the chest. So we'll just do that real quickly all the way around the system. So the turn actually looks like this. There's a dropper facing like that, and we're just going to continue that on. So when you're all done, it should look like this. And now on top of each of these droppers, including this one, we're going to place another one that faces in the direction of the flow of the items. So just continue that around this edge. And then once you get to this turn, just go around and they now face in this direction. And once you're done, it should look like this. So pretty much like a big army of these old dropper dudes. And the next step is to place in all of our hoppers. So we could start here, we're just going to build one off this dropper, then one off that hopper, then one pointing to the shulker box. And from there, it's just going to be a pattern of into the bottom dropper, into the chest, bottom dropper, chest, and just continue that all the way around. And I'll show you how to do the turns in just a little, but for now, just build in all these spaces. And it'd be good just to go do a little check to make sure those are all facing in the right directions with both the droppers and the hoppers, and it looks like everything is good. So for these turns, I'm just going to run a hopper off of this, and it's going to go all the way around that turn like that. So they should all be facing in these directions, and on top of this one, we're going to have a hopper facing into the chest. So then it's just the same thing for this turn as well. And we have more hoppers and droppers to place in here, but for now, we're going to build up the redstone for this system. So the redstone follows a pretty easy pattern, but it starts out a little weird. It's just going to go a block up, then two down, and now it's just going to go up, down, up, down, and each one of these bottom spaces should be next to the dropper, and the top air gaps should be next to the hoppers. So we're going to continue that, but once we reach this turn, we're just going to go around like this with all the bottom ones until we reach this dropper, then we're going to continue the pattern. And here's how we ended it, and there it is all finished. And our redstone follows a pretty easy pattern, it just goes redstone at the bottom and repeaters on the top, and the repeater should be pointing in this direction to get the signal going that way, but pretty much just continue with the dust on bottom, repeater on top, and just go all the way till you get to that turn. Then once you reach that turn, place down a repeater like this, and we're going to do four redstone dust, another repeater, and now we're going to continue on the pattern. And here's our next turn, it's just going to be the same pattern, two repeaters and four redstone dust. And that is the main redstone for the system completely finished. And the final thing is to build up this space, so start off by going here, diagonal from the chest, and kind of diagonal from this, and place in a dropper facing upwards, and from that dropper you want to place a hopper pointing into it, and a hopper pointing into that hopper, so it goes next to this one, and now we place another hopper pointing into this chest, so the flow of items goes out of this dropper, down here, and around this corner into the dropper. And now keep extending these droppers with ones facing upwards until you get just about the top, and then the top one goes in this direction. 
And now we're going to place in our hoppers, and this is where we really use a ton. And just by the way, you can actually keep building up these modules if you like. Just keep on building up that system until you reach this chest, and just make sure one of those droppers or hoppers or something feeds into this one at the very end. But for our bulk storage, we're going to place a hopper feeding into our end chest, and then we're going to build that all the way up to the top of the build. And now we're going to carry that hopper line off of this one and carry it along like this until we run into the dropper. And from there we're going to place in some temporary blocks so we can place in some more hoppers. So each of these six hoppers all point into those blocks and once you place all of them you could break away these blocks. And now just keep placing in these hoppers until you fill up all these chests. And just make sure that you're placing it off the chest so each of these hoppers point into it. And that's what it looks like when it's all finished, just a giant wall of hoppers. And now we're going to get back to working on the redstone, so we need something to power this elevator of droppers. So to do that, just place a block next to this redstone dust with a repeater running out of it. That repeater points into a block, and then that block creates a torch tower. So you just want to do this pattern of blocks and torches until you reach all the way up to the top. And we're also going to build in the redstone that powers this light whenever there's anything in the chest. So just place down a block behind the chest with a comparator on top so that way it's running out of the chest. And you want to have your character facing in that direction so the comparator is like this. Then another block in front with a repeater on top of it. And that repeater points into another block with redstone on top. And then we have two more blocks on top of these with redstone, a repeater, and another block. And now that will power the lamp. Wait, hold on, this is actually me from the future. I realized I messed up the system. So instead what you want to do is place down a stair block like this, get rid of that block, get rid of the repeater, and move the repeater to this location. And now another redstone here, because before when this light was lighting up, it was actually locking the flow of these items. And our very last redstone is for these item filters. So just go to your third hopper down and place in a row of blocks. And then once you build that, just extend it out another two blocks. So there it is all extended, and now we're going to go underneath and place in a temporary block like this. And we're also going to place one next to it, and now one beneath it. And then we can get rid of the temporary block, and we're going to extend these two out another five blocks. So it ends up flush with this. And now on top of these blocks, we're going to place in some repeaters. So there's our six repeaters, and those are all just at their original delay. Then we're going to go underneath and to the front, and we're going to place in torches on the wall of these blocks. And so those torches are in this space like this. And we place in our final blocks by shifting and placing it off those repeaters. And now we just extend it out over the rest of the build. And our redstone just goes like this. We just have all these comparators running out of all the hoppers. So there's six of them there like this. And then we have three redstone and we just drag that over the rest of this platform. And that's it all done and actually the entire build completed. But we're not quite done with the video yet because if we were just to throw in our items what will happen is they'll all just flow into this first shulker box since it already has some open spaces so our next step is to fill in all these chests with whatever items we want to be sorted so just as an example let's see that this chest here was our redstone chest so i could come in and add in all of our redstone dust and then maybe we could have some torches and some repeaters and then we could have a whole bunch of storage for our comparators. And now we just need to keep on building up chests like this out of whatever items you want to sort. So pretty much just whatever you have available to you or whatever you'll be putting through the system. And just go fill in all these. And also with these shulker boxes, you could actually grab them at any point if you want to. And the system will keep on running just fine. And once you organize all these however you like, our other thing to set up is our item filter here. Because right now items will just get stuck in this. So let's say that we wanted this first slot to be our dropper storage. So just go to the second hopper down and fill it completely with droppers. And then just place in the rest of your droppers into this space. Or pretty much just get it to 41. But placing in all those just automatically gets it to 41. And now all those droppers flow down to our bottom chest here. And you can see how it would just fill up the rest of these chests. And our next one over is going to be a new item. So we just add in all those just the same. And once all those filters are full, any items that don't have a spot should end up in this chest. And as you fill up all these with the sorting items, I like just to add in some item frames. And you could do this however you like pretty much, but I just do one per chest. And for these bulk ones, I place them up like this. And then what I like to do is just pick an item in here that represents the best and put it into there. One thing you could also do is just place in a sign that says redstone storage or just something like that. And this is just an example of what things might look like, but there we have all of our items. And you can always rearrange these items in these chests whenever you want, but you always want to make sure that every one of these slots is filled so you don't have an empty space for random items to fill in. And if this storage isn't quite as big as you want, you could always expand these sections. So there's just one basic module like this, just this 2x2 two two space, and you could keep duplicating that as many times as you like, and just expand the system like that. 
And I did a video on how to build up all kinds of these different modules for the item sorter. So if you want to build up a big sorter or a fully custom one, you can definitely check out those videos. But I think that's going to be it for our item sorter 1.1 design. So thank you so much for watching this video. And if you watched any of the two others, I appreciate it a lot. But thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. So our and a redstone, and a redstone goes like this, and the redstone on it, and the redstone on it is going to go like this. There's some dust at the bottom, then repeaters at the top, and it pretty much just follows that.